Hello, my name is Luis Bianco. In this video we will have a look at another antenna system that I did build. It's two different antennas, but uh, the system is pretty much the same. So one is on the left side standing up and we see here the top part. So it's basically a U-shape bend of steel. Uh, there is X possibilities, you can get really creative. What I used for this antenna system is basically strap, scrap uh, steel. So by the big shear, uh, once you cut off a uh, sheet metal, you do often the first uh, cut to have it uh, straight. So that is about uh, 12 millimeters that got sheared off. And uh, of course that thin uh, strip gets a bit uh, bended and twisted as the shear uh, cut it off. So you need to straighten it up afterwards. If you want to reuse it, usually that is just scrap. So we have on the left side the first bend there with two screws. In this case we have a bad wind today. Unfortunately, then it goes all the way up to here. Second bend. I mean, the, yeah, the second bend, then all the way over here. Third bend, and then it goes down here. Down here to the other leg for the last bend. Uh, we have each end two screws. In this case, in the middle of a wood, of a scrap wood plate, uh, this idea can be changed, of course. You can uh, directly screw it on wherever you like. And uh, what I do is I just strip the wire so that the copper part is touching the metal. Now the metal needs to be grinded off on the other side, so it's a uh, not the, the scale, the greyish scale from the from the sheet metal, but a uh, more of a silverish steel color, so that you have the best connection. I simply did clamp it under there, so between these two screws, the copper is clamped in there. I did try and test out uh, this kind of solution as well. Uh, that would have. Uh, been uh, hooked up there with, with those terminals and uh, just put under one screw. Uh, somehow that did not give a good result. I don't know, was it the soldering between the, the copper and uh, the connector or that, that uh, zinc plated material that they use or whatever. It did not work out. So I did go back to the most simple solution, simply uh, clamp it under there on both sides. Uh, the cable, it's just a simple uh, two, two uh, strand cable. So what I do on a budget, put that over here. What I do usually, as I have an electric machine or anything with a cable going down, I snip off the cable. So we have the, the cable with uh, the plug-in, in this case uh, those are two cables, uh, one of those cables, the longer one gonna go on a third of those, uh, of those uh, antennas. Once I have the material I built then a third one that is more folding, more compact for inside a car or for easier storage anyway. That's gonna be a separate video. video. So we have that cable one end here, the other end here, it comes together simply uh, that it can pull out. I put a metal on it, also scrap metal. Then we have the length of, of a cable and at the end we have a device like that. You find that on uh, eBay and other places. It's a simple plug-in, 3.5 millimeter and uh, it has two terminals at the end where you can uh, put in your your uh, stripped wire where the copper part goes in. So as you have that part with the 3.5 millimeter uh, plug-in, 
if you have a usual radio it has a plug-in for the antenna this case in the middle as we uh, see on that one here it's already plugged in so most of the of the radio our days uh, have the the plug-in but of course you can use uh, different connectors as well uh, for me I use uh, this directly with the, with the radio but I still want to do an adapter for a clamp uh, a simple crocodile clamp so we can uh, actually uh, clamp it directly to the antenna on radios that doesn't have uh, a plug-in unfortunately those uh, crank radios where you don't need electricity uh, uh, electric source uh, they only or often they don't have a plug-in so it's a bit of problem there so that is number one I put it down so that the height is not gonna fall you see the size the size is up to you how big you want to have it uh, this design is made that it uh, stands alongside the wall so that it doesn't need much space so I just had the, the length of the scrap metal I did uh, calculate it about the size what I wanted to have and that's how that one did turn out number two here is a bit bigger so same design just a, a bit a different approach with the, with the wood plate so from the side that we watch it here that's going to be towards the wall and the, the longer part of the wood is going to get covered up with something that has a bit of weight to it uh, another device let's say that so that's why that wood piece there is a bit longer and uh, it will stay better in place of course you can screw it on on the bottom as well it's really up to you what you want to do it's basically that you have a bit an idea what you can do what is possible now how well does it work uh, this antenna I used it mainly inside for now it works pretty well for what it is I would say because of the thicker metal uh, usually in my experience if you have a bit of thinner uh, wire uh, just a copper or a steel wire uh, somehow that doesn't give you the same results as a bit with a with a thicker with a thicker metal uh, I saw that as I made the antenna with the thick electric cable uh, video is online in English and German and uh, since then I'm more I lean more towards thicker metal using thicker metal and uh, I saw solutions like this also with thin, like 3 mm round uh, welding rod uh, wire. Uh, that works too. In my books, just not that good as with a bit of thicker metal, but on the other side, uh, thinner metal is easier to manufacture and, and uh, to work with for people so it depends what you have this is basically just to give you an idea of what what is possible what you can do with relative uh, little efforts and since it's portable relative portable you can uh, put it outside as well you could uh, weatherproof it and leave it outside if you want uh, also for people that uh, work in places where you can't do much uh, maybe you could make a size of that that looks like a frame on the inside or outside of a window so it would not drag much attention uh, to that either so that's part of the shortwave radio and radio in general uh, you can try it out test it out then with experience you learn what works in your situation a bit better what is easier what is less good less easy and uh, that's the the fun about it so yeah pretty much that's it on these two ones there's going to be a, another video then on the 
on the version that can be folded down once I get the, the scrap material I'm gonna try that out. Uh, until then, good luck and be safe.